Hi everybody, it's Alex Fournier for alexfournierart.com and artistic purposes. Today we're going to be tackling one of my favorite subjects to do in charcoal, and that's drawing hair. Let's get started. anything else all right can we do short hair over here Trying to keep it small at the same time. Okay, so in this case, what's what's fun about it is that it's backlit, right? And that's part of what I want. Might as well add some jewelry there. Okay, so I'm trying to be real light on the top because that's going to be backlit. Okay, all right, so we've got our, our eyes. Okay. 
All right, so now we can actually start doing a little bit of the finer details. Now this is smaller, so it's a little, I have to be a little more careful not to overdo it because the tool I'm using is so big compared to the actual, the actual drawing. Okay, so I'm applying just a few areas that are deeper, kind of like you're seeing through the hair that's underneath. But trying to keep a highlight under here and then a highlight over the back of it. Okay, and just to find this one. In this case, okay. Okay, on this other side, we have sunlight, and we really want to. Try to take advantage of how it looks. Okay, it's almost like it's it's been blowing around in the wind. It's popping over the ear here. All right, do a little turning edge, the forehead. Yeah, so, so backlit or edgelit poses are some of my favorite, because you get to play with this, these contours on the edges. They can make the face look like chiseled. Okay, and then if you've seen the other video of how to draw bounce, that's what we're doing down here. So there's a core shadow. And I'm emphasizing that there's a bounce light under the chin. Getting some of this light. Okay, and then... Trying to define by shape some shadows. We don't want them to just go all over the place. Okay. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. All right, so in the case of something that is backlit, now you could just leave it like this, which I think is good. Okay, you could also give a little bit of tone near the highlights. 
leaving gaps that are just just light so it, it looks like it's it's alive without the actual light But it's important not to get too carried away, which I've done many a time, where I said, oh, that was better before I did that. Like this, for instance, I'm gonna leave, leave it kind of a little horizon in that direction. All right, any other cool references? Let's take a look. All right, let's try another small one. And I'm gonna try to draw the shape of the air first so I, so I have less likelihood of going out of the scale, although no guarantees. Okay, in this case, you can already see how I'm building the tones really before I'm even, you know, drawing many of the details. Okay, of course I'm running a little tight on space. Okay, so let's say I've got All right, so I've got the face kind of in there now and you can see these bangs are already defined from the from the shading part. So now I just have to kind of get the edges. Okay. Over here. That part's defined a little bit. Okay, what do we got going on over here?
Okay. And now we've already got the tones there, but the actual, the actual um, kind of pattern of the hair is not always the same. So the, these are going this way. But you see the, the, the highlight is going to the side here. So it's not, it's not always, the highlight doesn't always follow like the pattern of the, the hairs. It's based on the shape of the head and where light is hitting it. Okay, and up here, I'm going to darken this up. So we really get this rounding out. Okay, and the shape of this face is a little hard. I'm kind of sitting on the corner here trying to get this, this right. Okay, once again, we can do the kind of turning edge on some of the front planes of the face. Okay, let's see if we can get any additional Highlights in here. Okay, in this case, just for fun, introducing the like basically a mechanics paper towel. It's like a heavy duty paper towel. And you can add one more tone in here that's a little different than your finger. It's a little more silver almost. And so that's one more area you can explore. All right, there's a bunch of hair drawings all over the page. We filled the whole page up. Uh, I like how these, these different types of hair are treated differently, right? It's the same tool, same technique, but you see different types of hair react to light differently. Different styles do different things. They curl differently. So we've got this kind of up hair. We've got kind of billowy, fluffy, curly. This is darker. You've got this with these uh, bangs right here and a lot more shine to that. You've got the braids over here. And then over here, one of my favorite types of lighting is backlighting and edge lighting. So you have this where the highlights from the sun are really causing the halo behind the person. Like an edge light like in film. All right, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, go to my website, alexforniarart.com. 
Look out for more content, and feel free to leave any comments if you have ideas of what kind of subject matter might be fun to tackle. All right, have a great day.